Hello, here we are. Welcome back to The Play Philosophy. I'm Rach. This is the place where you get to know yourself, grow yourself, be yourself, feel fabulous by using play. Today you're in for a treat. This is the first part of a two-parter about how to use Lego to build better habits. The end of the year is here. I'm sorry, I'm really distracted by this one strand of hair. Get off my face! The... New Year is approaching, we're reaching that time, the time where we're like, what are all the things I'm going to change about myself? What are all the things I'm going to achieve? What's the long list? Yes, I'm guilty of it too. I know it's not possible to change everything in the first month of a year, but I'm going to try. Having said that, I am going to apply some sensibleness to that. And that sensibleness is focused on habit building. This first video is going to explain why I think Lego is the best tool to help you build new habits. And then in the next video, I'll show you an introduction of how to do that. It's something that I have been working on for myself so far this year, 2022, and I'm ready to launch it out again, spread it out around the world. The world, that feels like a big scope. Hey, don't, don't do yourself a, don't, what's the word? Don't limit yourself. Uh, let's talk about it. If you're a self-development buff such as myself, you've probably read or heard a lot about the importance of building habits. We often spend a lot of time focusing on the end goal without even really thinking about how do we build and shape our behaviours to lead towards that goal. And there's some great writers on this subject. Mark Manson, James Clear, two people that have lots of really great advice and things to say about habits. But I found myself in the countryside earlier this year reading Mark Manson's Guide to Building Habits and thinking about James Clear's book, because I'd listened to the audiobook, and being like, how do I translate this in a way that works for me? Because it's all very well and good having a gazillion tips about how to build habits. But I keep coming across two fundamental problems. Two, I said two, there might be more than two. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to say until it comes out of my mouth. Into stage left. Oh, that is my left. Lego. Why is Lego important and helpful for building better habits? Well, if you're anything like me, you thrive off a sense of immediate gratification that working towards a long-term goal does not give you. So you want to be fit and healthy, right? You want to build an exercise habit because you know that it will make you lose weight or feel better. And even after that 30 minutes of exercise, you know that it's going to give you endorphins and it's going to make you feel better. But it still feels intangible. There's still this barrier to overcome to even start doing the habit to begin with. And Lego is such a wonderful way to give you an immediate sense of gratification for something that you have done. Do a 30 minute walk, get a yellow Lego brick. Do 30 minutes of chores, get a red yellow brick. And then ultimately another positive aspect of that is it builds a visual of the positive things that you are doing. If you are hard on yourself, bit of perfectionist tendencies, forget and lose sight of the good things that you are doing. Having a visual, i.e. Lego tower building blocks to show you what you have achieved and the positive progress that you have made is hugely rewarding. We need immediate gratification and we need positive reinforcement. There's no shame in that. What might I want to say about the next thing? What might I like to say about the next thing? Hmm, 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 hmm. We've all seen habit trackers that look like this, right? I've tried this time and time again. Let's make a list that's got the days. Let's tick off the times that I've done the habits. Do I do it? No. All I see when I look at this habit tracker are the gaps. Look at all of the gaps. All I see when I then look at this lovely Tego, Tego? Lego Tower is the stuff that I've done, the positive steps that I have taken. It's colourful, it's visual, it's rewarding, it's beautiful. James Clear describes it as being 1% better each day. Building a habit is as small as being 1% better than the person that you were yesterday or the things that you did yesterday. And using Lego in this way can help show you how you are growing to be 1% better. It's also really great for helping you to identify patterns Here's some photos that I took of the few months this year that I was Lego habit tracking. I can see the days that I'm more successful, if you will, with habits or with certain habits. And I can track over a month where there's the certain times of the month that I am finding it harder to do my habits. If this piques your interest, if you wanna know more about how to start building better habits in 2023 using Lego, comment below, let me know. And in my next video, I'll talk about how you can get started and how you can do that throughout the year. It's been a pleasure as always.